If being an attractive male is something that is important to you, then you're not gonna wanna miss what I'm about to share with you because this information could change your life forever. Starting with number one. How many of you grew up watching Disney movies where it was demonstrated that the only way to make a girl like you was to impress her? How many of you did everything that you could to impress her only to find out that she ended up dating some loser who never even did a single thing to impress her? You're like, man, I just spent a week's worth of lunch money on this girl only to find out that she doesn't even like me. How many times were you told that all that you need to do to impress a girl is to buy her some flowers, a cute teddy bear, and maybe some chocolate? Now what if instead of doing that, you just bought yourself a tub of protein powder? The truth is that you're going to get far more value out of the protein powder than you ever would from the flowers, the cute teddy bear, and the chocolates. One of the most life-changing things that I ever learned about girls is that you never want to over-pursue them. Girls have, and they will always want the guy who doesn't seem to want them. Even as a guy, if a girl were to chase me or pursue me too much, she would come off as creepy. When somebody is pursuing us too much, it sets off little alarm bells inside of our brain that tells us to avoid that person or that thing. And the same trigger happens with girls. Men who are not desperate generally don't pursue women. And in most cases, women are the ones who are pursuing them. Whenever you hear a woman call a man a jerk, logically, you would think that it means that she doesn't like him. But the truth is that women only say that they don't like the men that they really like. Women are always drawn to the guys who have little to no interest in them because it is precisely this behavior that signals that the man has value and that he has plenty of other options. Girls will always want what they can't have, so if you chase them, they're going to run away. This is one of the first life-changing things that I ever learned about girls. Number two. Now we all know that girls seem to be drawn to men who don't really seem to care about them that much. This is what you might call the jerk complex that so many guys have and seems to work fantastically well. But have you ever asked yourself why? Wouldn't it make more sense for girls to go for the guy who is the most attainable or the easiest for them to seduce? Now the real reason why girls go for jerks is because girls tend to look for mates who have a higher status or a higher value than themselves. And when a man behaves like a jerk, what he is really doing is implying that he has value and girls love a man with value. Every girl on the planet has an idea of what her net value is as a person and when she is looking for a man, she will roughly compute her own value against what she perceives the man's value to be and if the man's value is computed as being higher than her own, then she is far more likely to feel attraction towards him. Now, men, on the other hand, we will typically do the opposite, which means that we will typically look for mates or girls who are of a slightly lower value than our own. So you might be asking yourself, what exactly is value? Value when it comes to mate selection is first and foremost things like how confident you are, how masculine you are, how funny you are. And secondary to that, it's things like how much money you make, how much social status you have, and so on and so forth. So the second life-changing thing that I ever learned about girls is that girls tend to look for men who they perceive as having more value than themselves. And once you understand this, you'll realize that in order to attract higher value girls, you have to first increase your own total value as a man. Number three, pretty much every girl on the planet has a built-in sort of fairy tale inside of their head that involves a magical prince who comes and sweeps her off her feet and takes care of her and protects her. And as men, something that is built into our programming or built into our DNA is to be the prince that the girl is looking for, or in other words, to be the guy who protects her. But here's where it gets interesting. Girls want a man to protect them, but they don't want a man who caters to their every need and who does everything that they want him to do. One of the most life-changing things that I ever learned about girls is that they want a man to protect them, but they don't want a man who puts them on a pedestal. And girls will test you all the time to see if you will do everything that they say and to see if you will put them above yourself. And when you start putting them on a pedestal, they will lose interest. One of the things that makes a man insanely attractive is his unique individuality or his unique identity. And it is simply having the belief that his woman is simply an addition to his life and not the center of it. It's like if you had one of those motorcycles with the cart on the side of it. Men who maintain their identity invite the woman to ride with them in the cart on the side, whereas unattractive men let the women drive the motorcycle while they ride along in the cart. These are three of the most life-changing things that I ever learned about girls that have the potential to change your life as well. And with that said, until next time, thanks for watching.